This is How to Build a Super Hydrophone by Sam McDonald. As you can see in the background picture, we have a completed hydrophone. This simple design was developed by the University of Rhode Island's Graduate School of Oceanography. It consists of a simple microphone element connected to audio cable and placed inside a film canister filled with mineral oil. It's sealed up so water doesn't get inside. The other end of the audio cable is then wired to a monophone plug and connected to a mini amplifier so the sound can be heard. Let's learn how to make it. First, you need to gather all the necessary materials. Here's a list of them, but I'll show pictures of them too, so you get a better idea about what you'll need. Here is a simple wiring diagram that will be referred to throughout the video. Let's focus on the mic wiring first. Make a hole in the lid of the film canister about the diameter of the audio cable using the screwdriver and feed the cable through the hole. Strip the ends of the audio cable and the microphone element. Twist the wires together as shown, matching the colors. These are sufficient connections for now. Now let's focus on the phone plug wiring. Strip the other end of the audio as before, and we'll go one step at a time. Connect the red wire from the audio cable to the red wire from the battery holder. Connect one of the colored number 24 wires to the ground wire in the audio cable. Connect a number 24 wire, preferably white, to the white wire in the audio cable. Connect the black wire from the battery holder to the colored number 24 wire. Feed both white wire and connected black and orange wires through the phone plug cover. Connect the white wire to the short end. Connect both the black and orange wires to the long end. If you've done it correctly, all the wires should be connected. Add the 9 volt battery to the mini amplifier by removing the back panel using the screwdriver. Add the size C battery to the battery holder. Test it by first turning on the mini amplifier using the volume knob. Lightly tap the microphone and check for sound out of the amplifier. Since we hear something, it works. Now it's time to solder all wired connections. Each gray dot represents a solder point. Screw on the phone plug cover. After all the solder has cooled off at the connections, cover all exposed wire with electrical tape. Now let's make the hydrophone waterproof. Seal the lid both inside and outside with silicone sealant. Fill the film canister to the top with mineral oil. Then, submerge the microphone in the mineral oil and seal the lid shut. Some oil will leak out, but that's fine. Tape a weight to the bottom of the canister so that the hydrophone will sink in water. A few coins packed together is easy to use as a weight. Congratulations! You've built a working hydrophone. Now it can be easily mounted to the sea perch with tape or zip ties. Shown here is the attachment with tape for easy removal after testing. Secure the audio cable to the back of the sea perch like so. Let's see it in action.
and that's how you make a C-perch hydrophone.